My so-called life is sponsored by... How's it going? I'm Godless Sewing and this is the Godless Sewing Channel. So today, I'm going to show you how I finally got my Elna Lotus SP sewing machine running. And I made an extremely ugly shirt on purpose. And I'm returning to my roots because it's been a while since I've upcycled anything. I've completely fallen in love with simplicity patterns and patterns in general. So I'm kind of going back to what started this channel in the first place and I upcycled a few things. So as always, strap on, wear a helmet, and let's go sewing! Think you're through playing Santa? Maybe not, because the after Christmas sale at JCPenney is sure to bring out the Santa in you again. Save 30 to 50% off regular prices on select handbags and shoes. 25 to 50% off select fine jewelry. And 25 to 40% on selected men's sportswear from Fox, St. John's Bay, and more. The after Christmas sale. Play it again, Santa. J.C. Penny, we bring out the Santa in you. J.C. Penny. So, for anyone interested, I made this shirt using Simplicity Pattern S9158. So, this is my Elna Lotus SP. I've been working on it for the past couple of weeks and it's been an utter and complete bear. But, as far as mini sewing machines go, this is an actual sewing machine. One of my main gripes about miniature sewing machines is that there's not much of a difference between a toy sewing machine and a mini sewing machine. But, this Elna Lotus SP was made compact, but it's a real sewing machine. It has different style stitches. You can speed it up and slow it down, and it throws down a perfect stitch. One thing about this machine is that it's not necessarily the fastest machine, but again, miniature sewing machines are slow in general. So, like I always say, instead of talking about it, Let's check it out. All right, moment of truth. This machine and I have been fighting since the moment we've met. So, let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it worked. <laughs> so when I say that this sewing machine is slow, I mean this is stereotypical turtle slow, but while it's taking its time, it is slowly laying down a perfect stitch. So, I can't complain too much. As far as mini sewing machines go, this is an absolute solid machine. You can take this with you and not worry about it breaking somewhere. It's not necessarily the fastest machine in the world, but it works. And in a pinch, I would definitely take this with me. And it is taking its time. <laughs> but, after all of that, it laid down the perfect stitch. I'm extremely critical when it comes to mini sewing machines, but with a little bit of help, this Elna sewing machine is perfect. So, like I always say, keep sewing, stay creative. So lately, I have fallen in love with patterns, and that's okay. It wasn't necessarily something that I was doing a year ago, and if you had asked me a year ago, I would have laughed at you. But 
look at me. I've fallen in love with simplicity patterns. I love doing the uh, Mimi G patterns. I've made the same coat like three different times. <laughs> But upcycling is something that I absolutely love to do. If you look in my closet, which is this room that I'm sitting in right now, it is filled with items that I've upcycled over the years. Making battle vests is how I started, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And from there, I kind of graduated on to like flannels, and it just exploded into the style, into what I wear every day. So the fact that I haven't upcycled something in a while kind of shocked me. So I try to stay away from military print, but <laughs> I found this old vest. It's an old army jacket with the sleeves cut off and I'm adding a few things to it. You know, the beautiful thing about upcycling is that you can make it personal. You can put what ever you want on it because you're the one making it i encourage people to make their own clothes because it saves money but it also shows who you are whether you're making something from a pattern or you're upcycling so this vest is the definition of a factory reject you may or may not be able to see it but this is a 4x vest with a 6 X collar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the collar down and I'm also going to cut the shoulders down and make it more my size. I may or may not take the collar off completely, but I'm going to have fun upcycling this and I'm thinking about adding an awesome patch on the back. So let's start sewing. See what happens. Hey, check this out, cowboys! And look, bulls, this is great. Whoa, Nike stuff! Hey, this is 20% off! My wife's gonna love this! Hey, go deep! So I've recently purchased this fabric from my local thrift store and when I bought it it was rolled up and I thought I was gonna make a shirt out of it or something when I unraveled it first it's cut in the wrong direction and it's nine yards long so while I was laughing at myself for buying this extremely odd Hawaii fabric I was thinking about making a long sleeve shirt and I'm going to add a few old bits and pieces and scraps and see what happens because this is a crazy pattern. I think it was probably used at a banquet or something on a table or at a festival and then it was never used again. I can tell because it was washed but it's also folded well. So let's start sewing. Let's see what happens. So I'm on this weird quest of making these ugly shirts because eventually I'm going to make Godless Sewing and the Technicolor Coat. I've always thought that Joseph in the Technicolor Coat was just a story about a man who walked into a drabby town flaring. So with that being said, this is my 
ugly shirt. It came out bad, but I kind of did it intentionally. The tablecloth pattern from the Aloha Hawaii was so oddly cut that they were perfect size for the sleeves, but I couldn't necessarily make it for the base of the shirt. So I used everything from projects past and voila. <laughs> You know it's sad when a vest can't even save it, but even ugly clothes deserve a good home. So I will definitely wear this as an undershirt. And like I always say, stay creative, keep sewing. So when I say godless sewing and the technicolor coat, I'm aiming for something that kind of looks like this. But recently in my wandering around this planet, I found this really amazing pattern. So I don't know if I'm going to go for godless sewing and the technicolor coat or if I'm going to make that amazing coat. I laughed when I saw this pattern, but the more I looked at it, I was like, you know what? I could actually make that. So let me know in the comments, should I make this crazy, crazy coat? <laughs> You know, here in the house of sewing, I absolutely love hats. I started wearing hats when I was very young, so it kind of became a habit. And over the years, I've morphed from wearing a baseball cap to wearing a cowboy hat. But it's part of what I do, and it kind of fits who I am. And over the years, I have accumulated quite a few hats. And once I got my embroidery machine, I went a little crazy. So, I know it's not shocking, but I am a man of many, many hats. You know, I absolutely love all of my cowboy hats, but my brown cowboy hat screams less cowboy and more Indiana Jones. <laughs> I should wear this more often. So if you ever purchase a tractor and they do not give you a sweatshirt, a pair of sweatpants, a hat, a hoodie, a pair of gloves and drive you home, you need to send that tractor back. Big shout out to Kabuta Tractors. <laughs> At J.C. Penny, you'll find great gifts for a song. It's our annual holiday sweater sale. Save on warm winter sweaters for her. And colorful sweaters for him. The right gifts at the right price make this sale something to sing about. J.C. Penny, so today, I was minding my own business, <laughs> and I just happened to go to one of my favorite local thrift shops. It's been kind of a honey hole lately because I have found tons of fabric. That's where I found that weird Aloha fabric. I, I can't even begin to name how much stuff I have found in this one particular shop. So today, I wasn't necessarily shocked when I found this 
for $1.99. It is a ton of fabric, and I'm thinking about making a kufi because this Singer sewing machine right in front of me has become one of the most dependable sewing machines in this room. So, instead of talking about it, let's make a kufi. So the kufi came out perfect. I absolutely love this material that I got from my local thrift store. It's kind of stretchy, so it's perfect for a hat or an athletic shirt. Sewing is an amazing thing. The one thing I love about sewing is that I'm a bit odd bodied. So when I make my own shirts, when I make my own pants, they fit perfectly. So I would always encourage people to make their own clothes because it saves a lot of money. Like I always say, stay creative, keep sewing. Never a boring day here in the house of sewing. Do you know, most mini sewing machines, in my opinion, are a bust. They're slow, they're plastic, and they're easy to break. But my Elna Lotus actually is a real working sewing machine, so I'm quite impressed. I might change my tune on mini sewing machines. <laughs> I absolutely love how my vests turn out, and I will be sewing on that army vest for a while. So, as I always say, reinforce your seams, be yourself, and I will definitely, definitely see you next time.